Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. So today is August 18th and I just got back from LA yesterday. I had my pop-up shop, I set it all up. And now I'm back home for like a week and a half before I go back out to LA to like bring back my stuff. And I am actually doing New York Fashion Week. So in this week and a half, I have to make my collection and send it out. Uh, so that is what we're gonna do. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare has so many options of classes that you can take, including marketing, finances, entrepreneurship, and even creative ones like painting and drawing, and so much more. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Recently, I've been trying to up my TikTok game, so I've been taking this Mastering TikTok class by Taylor Lauren, and it's been super helpful and kind of just refreshing my mind in what I need to do to kind of succeed again in that. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. I have a couple of things kind of started slash made. So I'm gonna be showcasing my holiday collection, which will be coming out in November. Basically, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of just like timeline of things. I am gonna be in Spain in October for I think three to four weeks. So October, I won't be like really releasing anything at all or really doing much with my shop. Obviously I'll be promoting my holiday collection and I might do like a pre-order of it just to like get something started. But basically zero production, zero of anything. I'll be doing YouTube and stuff but just nothing with my shop. So I really want to showcase this holiday collection now and kind of just start promoing it. And obviously I'll take like fun videos and pictures out in Spain with it as well for marketing purposes and all of that. But yeah, so the collection won't actually be available until November. And then I'm gonna just like be producing it all of uh, the holiday season and all of that. So super excited. This collection is obviously a little bit more dressed up and fun, a bunch of just like satins and really nice fabrics and dresses and just like holiday type things. I feel like I've been doing a lot of casual stuff lately, which is super fun for the summer and all of that, but I get really excited about just like pretty little dresses and dressing up a little bit more. So I'm very excited for this collection. And obviously it's one that you'll be able to shop later because the one that I did for Joshua Tree, I didn't necessarily like make afterwards. A lot of them were just like one of a kind pieces that I sold or whatever. So for this one, it's actually gonna be stuff that you can later buy. So I kind of wanna show you guys what I have already. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs and if you watched my pop-up shop vlogs, I kind of started on this dress during that because I just like have had it in my mind for the longest time and really wanted to get it started. So basically I took all of the same green scraps that I had and cut them up into even squares like every little scrap I had left I tried to cut as many even squares as I could out of it and I was able to patchwork them all together on bias and I have this really cute dress so here's the back of it it's not done yet but I do have a little gold chain that's going along it which I think is super cute this one's almost done I actually want to add an extra layer of green squares at the bottom because it's a little bit short still so I want to add I think one more more row of it and then that one should be done so I've got that started which is good because that's probably my most time-consuming one that one took for freaking ever to patchwork but I love how it's turning out and then this one is basically done I just have to hem it it's this cute little puff sleeve like baby doll type dress you can't see it too well like that but yeah that's what it looks like. It's super cute, super pretty color. So I've got those two and I'm doing six looks. So I've got four more looks to go. One of the looks I'm gonna be putting the zipper pants in since those are still gonna be on my shop. And I'm just gonna give them the ones that I already have made that are mine. So that's out of the way. I just have to make a top for that. And I also think that I'm going to put in one of the skorts for one of the looks too with another top. So I already have one of those made as well. So I do have stuff made. It's not like I have like absolutely nothing done right now but obviously I still have a good amount of stuff to finish up this week. So I'm gonna actually show you guys the sketches that I have. Oh my iPad probably has no battery life left. Where is my charger? So my sketches are on my iPad but my iPad is out of battery so let me quickly charge it. So I'm doing New York Fashion Week with the same people that I did the Joshua Tree Fashion Show with so I'm super excited about that. I'm also just excited because I haven't like done anything in New York with my brand. I've been doing stuff like out in LA like California in general but haven't done anything on the East Coast so I'm very excited about that. Also just 
because like I have friends in New York and like I know a lot of people out there because obviously I went to school there and lived there so it's exciting to like also be able to go back because I haven't been back since I moved out so it's just like gonna be so cool such a full circle moment I feel like I'll show you guys the rough sketches that I kind of have of the things that I'm going to be making so this is one of the dresses this is the Juliet dress and it's just gonna be like a fun little asymmetrical hemmed like red moment which I think is fun for the holidays I'm gonna do this tennis style of top this is an awful sketch I just like didn't add any dimension whatsoever but anyway it's gonna be that type of like tied um style top where you can tie it in the back tie it in the front and a little like kind of bigger puffer sleeve kind of moment this is the green dress that I already have made then I want to make a fun little slip dress with a little slit in it then this is the dress that I already have made I was gonna make it asymmetrical but I ended up just making it longer anyway but this is kind of the vibe of it then I'm gonna make a fun little puff sleeve smocked top and that's basically it so I've got two dresses to make and two tops to make and then I'll be done so really it's not that much but it just takes a little longer since I do have to be like pattern making it all and as far as sizing for these I think I'm gonna have to make them just like my size so that I know that they're fitting properly and all that that's like again like I feel like I talk about this all the time but it's like the hardest part about just doing this on my own is the fact that I don't have like fit models I can use or I don't know just like different size mannequins I can like kind of go off of I always have to go off of myself I think I'm gonna start on on the red dress today maybe and yeah I kind of want to get the two dresses out of the way first and then the tops just because the dresses take a little longer and I feel like I want to start on those but yeah let's get pattern making <laughs> So I just finished making all of my patterns for this first dress and I used all of these blocks that I made that I actually like made in a video which you guys can totally check out. I'll have them linked down below. I show you guys how to make these pattern blocks for torsos and skirts and all of that. So that is what I used. I think I'm going to cut out just the top part in muslin to make sure it like lays properly before I cut it out in the actual fabric. But the skirt I'm like pretty set on the fact that it's going to fit right. I just want to make sure the top lays right. Right. So I'm gonna cut that out really quick and then we will start actually making it. So I just got this put up here and I'm actually gonna add an extra dart here just so that it lays extra nicely but other than that it is laying just fine so this is kind of what it is looking like and I'm ready to start cutting it out I'm gonna use this nice red satin back there and yeah let's get to it <laughs> lunch and took a little break but I have uh, most of the pieces done I haven't cut out the sleeves yet or the kind of ruffle that goes along the bottom of this skirt but I kind of want to start putting this together first just to make sure the fit is good and then I will cut out the sleeves get those situated and then make the little ruffle part but I think this is gonna be so cute I really love this fabric so so much all of these fabrics are dead stock so everything's gonna be limited edition as always some I have more of than others but this whole collection is gonna be basically all satins that I've been like piling up for the past couple months and I'm so excited about it I have so many really fun colors and stuff so um yeah but this red probably gonna be one of my favorites so um yeah I'm gonna start sewing this up and hopefully it starts fitting right <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so here's where I'm at with the dress. I am kind of dumb and forgot that I should have probably like lined up my darts down here and up here. And I could probably seam rip it and move them over, but I think that you'd be able to see like all of that seam on the fabric itself. Like I don't think it would look super clean. So I might leave it and then just actually change it in the real pattern for the ones that I make for like you guys and just keep this one for myself because it is a little annoying that it doesn't fully line up and same with the back, obviously. Like it's not the worst thing in the world but like I'll look, make it look cleaner for my actual customers but um, I'm gonna do some adjusting on here there's a little bit of excess in the back and with the shoulders so that's the only fixing I really need to do other than that it fits pretty well I like the way that it looks so far I think it's super cute and yeah I have a quick call here in like a couple minutes so I'm gonna take a little break for that and I'm gonna come back and do some fixing on that and then we'll add the sleeves and add all the other stuff hopefully I'll get that done today I'm really loving how it's turning out this fabric is so pretty so hopefully we'll finish it but uh yeah i'll be right back so i just got done with the call i was gonna take and i'm gonna kind of show you guys how i do like fittings onto this mannequin i am lucky enough to be like almost the same measurements as my mannequin she's got bigger boobs than i do but other than that we're basically the same so it makes my life easy when it comes to like altering things so when i do any sort of fittings i always have it inside out so that i can like directly like pin up a seam and then like sew it otherwise you just have to like turn everything inside out again and it gets really annoying so yeah i'm gonna start by pinning together the waist down here making sure that is in its place I don't really need to do any fixing to the uh, bottom necessarily, but I'm gonna go ahead and pin that anyway. I don't want it to be like super, super tight because I don't want your legs to be like constricted in it. So it doesn't need to be super, super fitted. But there is that. Okay. So now I'm gonna start pinning together the top. And as you can see, this kind of like comes up a little bit, which I think is actually something I just like didn't take note of it before. But when I put the dart in here, obviously that took some uh, space from the armhole and I didn't like do the same on the back. So I just have excess space in the armhole, which I'll bring up at the shoulder like that. But yeah, I'm gonna pin this here, get this all situated. As you can see, there's like a decent amount of space there. I don't wanna, Actually, I think I took a little too much. So up here, um, you want to leave a little bit of room because um, you need some like space on their back because if you have like sleeves, you're moving around like that. Like you need stretch right here so that there's like room for your shoulders and your arms to move. Like whenever you put on a jacket and you feel like constricted, it's because you don't have that extra ease on the back. So you want to make sure that there is a little bit of that so you're not super constricted in this. Um, but I do think it's still a little, a little small. So I want to kind of bring it in a little bit more. But yeah, I'm just gonna pin it all the way down so that I can then properly mark the shoulders. So now I have that all pinned up and you can see I still have like room here for this. Um, it's not like super tight or anything, but now I'm going to bring up the shoulders and you don't just wanna like bring them up randomly. You wanna make sure it's also on like the shoulder line up here. So sometimes that means taking more in from one side than the other, like more up from the back than the front. So I'm going to pin that in place and pin this in place. When you're doing all these adjustments, you obviously then wanna go back and adjust the patterns and like add or take in wherever you need to. So I'm gonna do that after this, clean that up a bit so that I can make all my other patterns afterwards. But yeah, this is kind of the, the process. It always takes a little longer to make the first sample and honestly this is something that I like want to show you guys so you also see like this is something that also has to be played into the um, the pricing of it is just how much it's taking me to make the first sample to get the pattern made and all of that is also something that needs to be you know put into the price of the item afterwards it's not just like how long it takes to make the actual item itself it's like all this prep work beforehand too that counts so yeah that's kind of why made to order clothes and handmade clothes cost a little more but obviously there's just so much that goes into it and honestly this is how much all clothes should cost because all clothes are made by people like everything is handmade um just not everybody gets paid uh properly so that's you know tea but but anyway this is what it looks like so i just have to take it in a little bit here and then in the back a little bit and yeah it's gonna look really nice really clean i'm gonna make a facing for um the neckline so that's very clean and stuff i just haven't actually patterned it out yet i wanted to make sure all of this was you know fitted first but yeah it actually looks pretty decent so i'm going to go ahead and fix that up and then we can start adding all the rest of the parts
guys what it looks like so far because it looks super cute. I just put a zipper in it. I haven't actually finished the sleeves. I'm gonna put an elastic into it because now it's just like kind of puffed out, but it's gonna be like in words like that. But they are gonna be pretty poofy, which is super fun for the holidays. I like a little extra drama, but it lays super nicely. It looks super cute, really nice and form fitting. Obviously the neckline isn't like finished. They'll be facing, but it'll look the same, but they'll be facing on it. And the back is pretty normal, just like that. But yeah, I just wanna try it on to see like how the fit's going and I really love this. I think it's so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up the sleeves and then make the facings and I'm debating whether or not I want the ruffle at the bottom. I wanted it for a little extra something, but I don't know, I also like the simplicity of this. But I feel like you can't tell the asymmetry of it too, too much. So I might make that a little bit more dramatic and bring this up a little bit more. And then if I do bring it up, then I feel like I would need to have like the ruffle in it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But yeah, super cute, very excited with where this is going. So here's where I'm at with the dress. The sleeves are so freaking cute. I cannot wait to try this on now that the sleeves are done, but I went ahead and made the front and back facings. They're upside down right now. And the ruffle for the bottom. So I have that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out real quick and then finish this dress up. This has been taking so much longer than I thought. I intended to make like two dresses today or two things today, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to the second one. It's kind of like getting later in the day. It is 4.30, so it's really been taking me all day. But yeah, that's just how it is when you're making something new and like pattern making it and making sure the fit's right and all of that. So yeah, hopefully I'll get it finished up here soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting that out. put together and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit of the hem of the dress just so that the ruffle doesn't make it too long and awkward I'm gonna cut off like two inches on one side and three inches on the higher side so that it's a little bit more of a dramatic angle diagonal whatever and yeah I am so excited to finish this up so I'm gonna go ahead cut this and then I'm gonna put the um, the ruffle onto it first and then I'm gonna do the facing and then it'll be fully done, which is so exciting. I think it's gonna be so freaking cute. So let's, let's do it. <laughs> I just finished the dress and I think it is so cute. I love the way the ruffle turned out. I'm glad I had decided to do it because for a second I was debating it and I just think it adds an extra little something to it. I think the sleeves are so cute. Like the perfect amount of puff. Square neckline is really nice. I'm not wearing a bra right now. I feel like if I was wearing a bra, I'd like lay a little bit nicer here, but yeah, super cute. I love this so much. So we got one piece done out of uh, four more that I needed to make, I think. So three more to go, not too bad. Here's what the back looks like. Pretty cute, pretty simple, nothing crazy. It's like a um, higher square neckline back there and then ruffles also asymmetrical back there, so super cute. Don't mind the fact that I have like a suitcase here. I'm leaving for LA again like in a week, so I didn't bother to fully unpack because I had to repack in a week, so I was like, whatever. But anyway, I'm obsessed with how this is turning out. I 
think I might leave it at that for today. It's kind of getting late. It's like 5.30ish, so I'm gonna like shower and have dinner and then we'll see if I'm in the mood for it. If not, I might just like edit some videos and do some computer work for the rest of the night, but super happy to get this dress out of the way. I think this was my most complex piece of all the ones that I have. So like the two tops should be pretty simple to make and the other um, kind of slip dress is also a little bit easier. It's less pieces and all of that. So yeah, super excited. I'll catch you guys maybe in a little bit, maybe tomorrow, we will see.